What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because every 500 subscribers, we're having a raffle. So right now, we're headed to the hardware store. We're gonna go get the bolts that we need for the exhaust manifold. So I'm about to take this inside and find the right uh, bolt that'll fit in here into these threads. All right, so they got all kinds of bolts here. I think I need to find the grade A. No, the grade eight, which is the strongest bolt they have. It should be like one of these gold ones. All right, we're back in the car. The guy in here was pretty cool. He helped me out find the right uh, stuff that I needed and right now I think I'm gonna go to work and then after that I might go mess with the Civic for a little bit if it's not snowing so I made it over by the Civic it's late in the afternoon I got about an hour before I lose all the light so let's go ahead and put that turbo together I got this table sort of cleaned up a little bit um, I got the manifold on here don't mind this this is just frozen on here oh there it is all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this guy upside down and we are gonna pull this cap off and put the smallest softest spring back in there we don't want to boost up right away we want to break this engine in after everything's together so that's the reason for that It was under a lot of pressure. These are the two springs that were inside. We're gonna go ahead and put the smaller one in there. And it actually has a groove right on here where it's gonna sit. So I'm gonna put the camera back down and get this thing back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add the second one of these to right here and tighten it down. So we are gonna be using this one instead of this one. This one's on the top, this one's on the bottom. And we are ready to put the turbo on there, I believe. The gasket that goes right here, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this copper spray. And the copper spray is gonna go on both sides. And I'm just gonna throw the manifold back onto the car right now. So this is the gasket that's going to go on here and I did coat it also with the copper spray. So everything's nice and tight right now. The exhaust manifold to the engine and it's kind of dark right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and stop the video here and we'll just have to continue this tomorrow 
so it's been a few days we have daylight again and I put a poll and you guys voted and this is what the turbo is gonna look like it's gonna go face down so we're gonna have to throw probably like another elbow right here like a 90 to try to make it to the intercooler so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gasket and start to throw the bolts back on there you guys already know I copper coated this gasket and I'm gonna slap it underneath and I got some Loctite that I'm gonna be putting on there my bolt and my washer my washer sits perfectly on here on this spot that it has it locks in really good so I'm gonna go ahead throw you guys on a time lapse and get this together All right, so you guys saw me in the video just put this guy first. I went ahead and I used this guy um, to get the other one started. And afterwards I backed this one out and I put a little bit of uh, the thread locker on there. So everything's nice and tight now. Everything has thread, thread lock on there. So those bolts are gonna really lock in. Um, the next thing we wanna do is our return line. Our return line is supposed to be pretty much as straight as possible you want this as straight as possible a straight shot to the oil pan but unfortunately the way how the turbo sits I have no room on the other side so it's gonna have to go this way and I don't know if you guys watch boosted boys but when he did waggle and also on Charlie's waggle um, this is exactly how they ran it they ran it over the the side just like this straight into the oil pan and these right here these are your cooling passages. We are not going to do anything with that. Also, you guys have seen Boosted Boys. They got, they maxed out their turbo and they didn't even use those. So we're just going to leave those just how they are and just worry about the oil feed, which is on this side and the oil return. For the oil return, I still have everything loose. So I'm able to clock the turbo back and forth right now. That's pretty much as far as I could go. Um, for the feed and the return, I'm able to move it all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bend that I got. And it's just going to go somewhat like this. But it's going to go like all the way down here. So it's going to have a nice little bend to it. Like that. And we're gonna try to route it to right there where you guys see the tape. The way how I do the return line, I'm gonna show you guys. Here's the, the return line itself. Here, let me go somewhere else. All right, so it's very simple. All you do is you remove this guy, the red one. That's the one that's gonna actually go on this line. You remove this guy out and then that's what it looks like in there and then if you flip it the other way there's only threads about half an inch in on this side and then the rest is just like open space in there and what I did is I took off the tape that was here the tape all the tape does is it helps it from unravel from this edging on to unravel but what you do is you just put this guy right over like this. Of course, the threads are on this side. And you're going to push this guy until it bottoms out. Push it all the way in there. Give it a turn. Make sure it's all the way in. And there you go. That's what it should look like. Now you have the rubber piece all the way up here. And then of course, this one's the one that's gonna go on the turbo. And then this side is the side that plugs into this. 
And what you do is you plug this in first into that hose and then you thread it in. Very simple. So now I'm gonna take this on and I'm gonna put it into the turbo, into this part of the turbo, the return line. Get it to screw in. All right, I'm gonna make my adjustments kind of where I want it, as low as I can go right here without it actually touching the exhaust manifold there's still a little bit of an angle right there I think that's where it's gonna end up right there I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it now that it's nice and tightened this is kind of what it looks like from the front So now I'm going to plug in my hose, not all the way in, but I'm going to plug her in to see how much line do I need and if I got to trim anything. One more thing before we can measure it, I got to put my other end over here. I'm just going to plug her in real quick. So now what I did, I marked this guy, this line, I marked it up from where I think it's gonna end up over here. So like right there to over here. And I came up with this. You guys can see where I put the tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here where the tape is. All right, so I made my cut. And this thing's ready to go so i'm gonna go ahead and install this really fast so the return line is in so now we're gonna do the feed line but before i do the feed line i'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these bolts down because now I know exactly how the turbo is going to sit. So now I'm going to splice all my brake lines together, which are the feed line for the turbo. I'm going to use some Teflon tape on all these fittings, make sure we don't have a leak.
it's starting to get dark out here so i gotta work quickly so i went ahead and i gave this a bend like that and let me show you guys this is just gonna go into this right here into this and then this line is gonna plug into here with this fitting I decided since we don't have enough time to do all this we're just gonna have to come back again another day I'm just gonna call this a video right here and I pulled out the spark the uh, spark plug wires because I'm gonna take this because we are gonna be doing a paint job on this valve cover so like I said it's already kind of dark so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day and i will catch you guys on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later